Now let's add keyboard shortcuts that will help us manipulate lines and apply formatting. Sometimes we need to quickly copy the current line and to do so I'm gonna use space LU shortcuts that will basically copy the current line and put it on top of the existing one. Another one will be leader LD that is basically the same but the copied line will appear at the bottom of the current one. So if we'll try it out and press space LU the current line gets copied and the copy is added on top. In the same way if we're gonna press space LD the copy line will be added to the bottom of the current one. And if we don't need to copy the line but basically move it up or down we can also assign a couple of shortcuts to move the current line up I'm going to use space MU shortcut and to move the current line down I will press space MD. So firstly let's try to move the current line up by pressing space MU as you can see it works and if I'll press space MD we're gonna see how the current line gets moved down. And I guess one of the most used action while writing code is apply formatting. And to apply formatting I'm gonna press space FM which stands for formatting. The command identifier is format document. So now anytime if I need to apply formatting to the current file I can just press space FM. As you can see it's working perfectly. Another common which is also similar to formatting and this one allows us to reorganize imports, basically reorder imports following some rules. I will use space OI which stands for organize imports. So now if I'll change order of these imports and then press space OI we're seeing how those imports were sorted. Let's jump into another file and also change order in here. After pressing space OI, those imports will be sorted. And finally, to be able to jump between all existing errors within one file, I'm gonna define two shortcuts that will help me to quickly jump to the next error in the file and the previous one. Space EN will be used to go to the next error in space EP, which stands for error previews, is gonna help me navigate to the previous error. And to demonstrate this feature, firstly, I'm going to make some errors within this file to have something to work with. And now if I need to quickly go to the next error, I'm gonna press space EN. And to navigate to the previous error, I'm gonna press space EP. And this way we can easily navigate through the errors in particular file. Link to the repository with this configuration file will be as always in the video description.